Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rikakadash, and the man said those great meals to my lunch is true, and also to the whole let that scattered abroad. I like to say, shalom, and come back in the day with another great powerful lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the title of the lesson is A Great Crashing from the Hills. So I like to say, shalom, to all our listeners. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the paths of righteousness and back to your true power. Which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So what is that great crashing in the hill? That is what that uh, economic collapse. That's you know we constantly hearing rumors of the economy is constantly what plunging, constantly getting ready to what you know what's that crash? And out about we knowing that what it's at the end of the, of the dollar. And also they're getting ready to roll out this what this new digital currency. And out about you know the biting bucks. Uh, December the uh, 13th, also September the 24th. You know, you know, you know, we we gonna keep that on the calendar. Just you know, we gotta you know keep our heads on the swivel. You know, be circumspect, even though we're measuring the time uh, diligently in itself and that about. So you know, September the 24th is uh, uh, one of these Russian. Uh, I can't think of his name, but anyway, said that you know it will be a day that we will will remember. We don't know. What will come of that day, but that about we're gonna measure it through the scripture, not through the spirit of power. Yeah, how about Shimia was shot? So that about it, you know, once the money go, all hell will break loose. And that about it, your uh your well life, your security, you know, your comfort zone is getting ready to change the way that you do not know how. Food short, famine, you know what I'm saying, water short, you know what I'm saying? We seeing hyperinflation all over the place. It's only going to what intensify in the middle of the law. We're constantly working overtime, sounding the law, letting you know these are pending dangers. And that about we knowing that the new world orders, they're getting ready to roll that out. You know what I'm saying? What they evil, what devices, which in fact, you know, the evil plans and that about the unrighteous decrees they're coming into play left and right in the middle of the law. We constantly Warn you left and right. So they once that economy crashed, all hell would break loose. You know what I'm saying? Try to make you a what a petrol slave. The MOTB, the RD microchip, it is here. So a lot of things are coming down the pipeline. And now about this time to seek the Lord why he can't be found. So the title of the day lesson once again is a great crashing from the hills. So we get started with a quick pre well, we get started with uh, I got three videos. Uh, little short little clips and after the video uh, clips we go into the lesson and I hope that you get edified by the lesson today So we can start with the first uh, clip one moment <clears throat> one moment One moment Could be days away go to the bank take out some cash uh, Just to have on hand because it's gonna wipe the stock market out and bigger yet Credit freeze, liquidity crisis, it's over. No cash in the banks. You will not be able to access your cash in the banks. Debit cards don't work. Credit cards don't work. Into business lending stops, it's over. Here conclusion, I'm just putting this information that the mainstream media does not cover. So, the other day, Frederick Mertz, he's the German member of parliament. He gets behind the, 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 the podium here. And he says, and I quote, dear colleagues, the 24th, September 22, 2022, will be remembered by all of us as a day which we will say, I remember exactly where I was. So, if I... Herren, liebe Kolleginnen und Kollegen, dieser 24. Dear colleagues, this 24th of September, 2022, will be a day that remains in our memories as a day we will say, I remember exactly where I was. This is all part of a national campaign. If you can't make it out today, again, it's from 10 a.m. to 2 here at the Montbello Rec Center. But if you can't make it out today, there is another event happening on Saturday, September 24th. So two opportunities to get these free emergency preparedness bags. That is over at the College View Rec Center, also from 10 a.m. to 2. Now, if you want to be 100% sure you're going to be able to get a bag before that. No, I don't know. I, maybe I've just made my ears or, or general, for a lot of these events, we have so many people that are cheering and are so excited. Maybe my ears need to be cleaned out. But it would appear to me as though Biden is implementing an executive order by December 13th that essentially ends non-programmable currency, that the Pope is saying, hey, hey, listen, 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 guys. I need you to move all the Vatican entities, move all of your money into the Vatican Bank by September 30th. And now you've got over here in Germany, and I don't spend a whole lot of my time studying, you know, the German parliament and what they do, but Frederick Mertz gets up and says, hey, on September 24th, you're going to remember this, and I quote, dear colleagues, on the 24th of September 2022, this will be remembered by all of us as a day which we will say I remember exactly where I was. And so I went to find this clip, General Flynn, this morning, and guess what got deleted from YouTube? 
this clip. So I don't know. Uh, Ryan, let's go to dog training. Maybe something I can handle. <laughs> when you tell a customer. You won't believe this. PT2. Fighting cash. Australia tests digital currency. The central bank is thus following a call from the Bank for International Settlements to all the world's leading central banks to prepare for the introduction of digital currencies. To how many banks? All. In addition to Australia, the US, the EU, China are also pushing ahead with the abolition of cash. 110 countries around the world are currently preparing to introduce digital currencies. The question is, is the system in place? You're going to be very surprised if you're still ignorant. Okay. So the US Federal Reserve is already working flat out on the development of a digital dollar. And the work is already well advanced as recently published documents show. In fact, President Biden signed a document which implements this very thing. There's another article. U.S. Digital Identity Act expected to pass, paving the way for the next generation ID. But Bible prophecy is fulfilling before our eyes. Not that this means of accessing your money is the mark of the beast. God is not concerned, as I've said a thousand times already, as to what you spend your money on or how you spend it or what means you use to pay he's interested in your character he's interested to know what is going on in your mind who do you acknowledge as your god a new u.s digital identity bill is steadily making its way through congress not why now why are all the countries doing it now because the final movements will be rapid ones. They know exactly what is coming. They've been prepared. And it's going to be universal. There is no way of escape. So when it comes, you have to accept it. The only haves will be the government and the big corporations. Yes. The new feudal system, as we have said before. And you will be locked into that feudal system, whether you like it or not. And so eventually you will own nothing and be happy. A nearly identical version of the bill has also been introduced in the Senate, which means it is one step closer to becoming law. Once passed, the Identity Act would give the federal government the legislative foundation it needs to start providing a digital ID service for American citizens. This is not just America, this is universal. Everywhere, as we have seen. So when the Bible says that how many will be forced? Both rich and poor. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So Bible prophecies are rolling out right before our eyes. And the idea about it is that the Bible is a true book. In the middle of the Lord, we constantly sign crying left and right. And I about it. we're here. Like in that um Second video, September the 24th. We don't know what will come of that day, but that about that German uh, uh, dude from Parliament, you know, he was saying that it would be a day to remember. And also in that last video, dude was telling you about this digital ID, this digital rollout, this new world order. You know what I'm saying? Then he said at the end, will not what great, small, rich or poor, you know what I'm saying? You know, will not, you know, be able to buy or sell without having that, you know what, you know what I'm saying? So it's coming into play left and right. And that about it. it is here. It is at the door. So all the games are about to be over. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is a great crashing from the hill. So we get started. One moment. We can start with a quick precept. Let's go to uh, so Rock chapter uh, 5. Just a quick lesson through the Spirit, and I hope you get edified by the lesson today. Uh, so Rock chapter 5 and verse 7. One moment. <clears throat> and it reads, it said, Make no terror to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed, and perish in the day of vengeance. So that about it, you know, it's all of a sudden. So when this 
economic uh, crash happen. You know, a lot of people going to be what faint or in desperation. And everybody, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, a lot of people still are unbelieving right now, still are, are thinking that they're a good case, still are going on in their daily lives, you know, in thy security. The Lord said, all of a sudden, it will, will come upon us. And everybody, you know what I'm saying? When they say peace and safety, and then total destruction uh, will come upon us. And that about so a lot of people, the Lord said, he will come like a thief in the night. And that about it, you know what I'm saying? So when your fears come, when your desolation come, you know what I'm saying? The Lord said, you shall seek him early, but you shall not find him. And that about it, because you was an unbeliever, scoffing and mocking. And that about it, that these things are getting ready to come to pass at a fast pace. Bible prophets are lining up like clockwork. And out about it, they're in the great and glorious return of Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah is very, very close. We are very close. And out about it, you know, Jacob's trouble is right upon the beginning of sorrow. And we're seeing rumors of wars all over the place. And also, the Ezekiel chapter 38 war is getting ready to kick off. Keep your eyes on Israel. So Israel's go go down America, which in fact is Babylon the Great, it also will go down. And out about it, hey, we are here. And out about it, hey, it's time to seek the law. And that about it's time to come under that total subjection. It's time to what? Walk circumspectly. You know, you know what I'm saying? Be wise. You know what I'm saying? Watch, pray, and be sober because we're living in these times, real time. So now, let's go to uh, Zephaniah chapter 1. One moment. Zephaniah chapter 1. One moment. <clears throat> Zephaniah chapter 1. Just a quick lesson through the Spirit. Just a few scriptures I'm going to bring out. One moment. Uh, Zephaniah. Zephaniah chapter 1. And we'll start at verse 10. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 10, and it reads, And it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord, that there shall be uh, be a uh, noise and a cry from the fish gate, and a howling from the second, and a great crashing from the hills. And everybody's it's talking about the economic collapse. And out of back in the, uh, 19, what, 32. And out of back, and also, you know, it had a, a collapse in uh, 08, but it's going to be way worse than that. You know, it's going to make it look like a welfare case. So when this economy collapse this time, it's going to be over with. You know what I'm saying? Uh, at Babylon the Great will be finished. And out of back, this place is collapsing. You know what I'm saying? America is constantly what? Uh, uh, constantly, uh, 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 it's going down the drain. And out of back, we seeing, you know what I'm saying, the infrastructure. We seeing that society is constantly breaking down. We're seeing that that e economic collapse is constantly getting closer and closer. We're coming upon that what that dog winner and out about you know howling in the fish gate. You know what I'm saying? There's what you know that stock market. You know what I'm saying? And out about it, it's getting ready to go. And out about it, a lot of people are running to the banks, making these bank runs. But out about it, your silver and your gold will not be able to uh, 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 will not be able to sustain you in those times of trouble. If the Lord is not on your side. You will not make. It. And out about it, it's time to trust and believe. And Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So now let's start back up. Uh, Zephaniah chapter 1. We'll start back up at verse 11. It said, How ye uh, inhabitants are, are marked task? For all the merchant people are cut down. All they that uh, uh, bear silver are cut off. So that's talking about that ancient uh, uh, stock market they had back in uh, an ancient time, Bible time. You know, they used to meet up, you know, and trading, you know, it's export and import. And out about it, you know, you know, so it's nothing new under the sun. And out about it, that will be cut off. And out about it, so that about it, a lot of people right now are, are getting to see that, you know, say, hey, this is getting ready to happen. You know what I'm saying? They're getting ready to roll out this, what, this digital society, this digital ID to make you a, a petrol slave. It's RFD microchip is coming into play left and right, the MOTB, and out about it's time to keep your head on the swivel, and out about it, you know, anyone that consent will be trodden down on a foot, and out about it, you know, it's time to trust in the Lord, you know, faith and work, work what, hand in hand, and out about it, you know, the one that have it is what, to elect, and out about it, we're going to follow the Lord all the way to the finish line, we will not bend, or we will not fold, and out about it, we will not be a part of this beast system, this beast Bacon is, 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 is constantly speaking loud and clear. When you go to Revelation chapter 15 through 18, it's speaking loud and clear. It is almost at the door and out of back. And all hell is getting ready to break loose. So now let's start back up. Let's go to 2nd chapter 15. 2nd chapter 15, one moment. 2nd Arrow chapter 15. 2nd Arrow chapter 15 and verse 14. And it reads, it said, it said, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Verse 15. For the sword in their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hand, a the modern day gun. Verse uh, uh, 16, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And that about it, when the economy uh, get ready to 
crash, when you cannot go to the bank, when you cannot use your credit card, your debit card, all those things will be a thing of the past. So a lot of people going to be, you know what I'm saying, going to be bugged out of their mind. It's going to be a lawless time. They will not regard they what their uh, law enforcement, not regard they what government, their military, not the back. It was going to be just going to be kill or be killed. You know what I'm saying? Egyptian against Egypt, civil unrest. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things are coming down a pipeline, uh, you know, a civil unrest, insurrection. A lot of things are coming. The body count is getting ready to be great. And out of that, that is Jacob Trump. So now let's start back up. Uh, second Aaron chapter 15, we'll start back up at verse uh, 17. A, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And out of body, when they call these, what you know, these lockdowns, uh, these, uh, 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 what you call martial law, a lot of things are getting ready to come, unrest decrees, what they have uh, prescribed, uh, what they have what authorized. And out of body, it's getting ready to come into play. A universal dictatorship, you know what I'm saying? And out of body, they're trying to feed you things being idle. And out of body, it's time to watch, pray, and be sober. And out of body, we're living these times real time. And out of body, a lot of people are still playing games, but the games are about to be over. So now let's start back up. Second Aries chapter 15, we'll start back up at verse 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Verse 19, a man shall uh, have no pity upon his neighbor, but uh, shall destroy their houses with the swords and spoil their goods because the lack of uh, bread and great tribulation. So that famine is coming in, in a big way. You know what I'm saying? Food short, starvation. A lot of things are coming down the pipeline. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a time of desperation, a time of trouble that we've never seen before. You know what I'm saying? But the Lord said, for the elect's sake, those days shall be short. So that about, you must always trust and believe in your house. Keep the faith. Don't doubt. Keep pushing. And that about, we will get there. The Lord said he will, will deliver us. And also he will preserve us in those times of trouble. And that about, we cannot wait. So now, let's go to all. Uh, one moment. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 13. One moment. Isaiah chapter 13. One moment. Isaiah chapter 13. And we'll start at verse. One moment. <clears throat> we'll start at verse uh, 6. And it reads, it said, How ye, for the day of the Lord is at, at hand. It shall come as a desolate uh, destruction from the Almighty. Verse uh, 7. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man a uh, heart shall melt. Verse 8. And they shall be afraid. Pain, sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain. A, as a woman that tra travails, uh, they shall be amazed one to another. Their faces shall be as uh, as flame. Uh, verse 9. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both uh, with wrath, fierce anger, to lay the land de uh, desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. And out about that, that's getting ready to happen. Out about the Lord's getting ready to bring that recompense and judgment. And we constantly warn you, left and right, we are here. It is at the door. And out about that, hey, hey, it's time to seek the Lord. And out about that, hey, it's time of trouble. It's coming. It's coming at a fast pace. So now let's drop down to uh, verse uh, Isaiah chapter uh, 13. We'll drop down to verse uh, 11. And it reads, and I will punish the world for their evil. And and, and the wickedness of their iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease, and I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. And verse uh, verse twelve, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than a than golden than the golden wedge or uh, offer. And I about you know in that time of trouble, you know what I'm saying. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to seek a man of the Lord. And, and I but you're not under that covering of a man of the Lord when these times of trouble come, it will be total chaos. And I about that, you know what I'm saying? It's time to seek the Lord. It's time to uh, uh come under that total subjection. And I about it, you know what I'm saying? If you are an uh, unbeliever, and I about it, in that time of trouble, you will be totally destroyed. And I about we come to warning you left and right. We are in these times, real time. And I about the hate. It's time to seek the Lord and also seek a prophet. You know, it's a man that is a true believer. And I had about it. When, it, when it's time of trouble come, all these women that are, are scoffing and mocking, are, you know, trying to exert the authority over the man, they, that, it, that, that will, will cease. And I had about it. They're going on to get in line one way or, to, or, or another. And I had about it. Jacob Trouble going to get a lot of people in order. And I had about it. The Lord is getting ready to bring it. And I had about it. The mental Lord, we come to sign and cry. Left and right, letting you know the opinion danger. We are here. It is at the door. A great crashing. Uh, from the hills and that about that the economic collapse all hell will break loose so now let's go to uh second area chapter uh one moment let's go to second let's close out here let's go to second area chapter 16 one moment second area chapter 16 we'll close out right here second area chapter 6 uh 16 and we'll start at verse 32 second area chapter 16 and verse 32 one moment and it reads and and the earth shall be laid waste 
and the field thereof shall shall wax old and her and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns because no man shall travel there there through so that about when they come in uh, a crash and that about it, and when they come in with the UN and, and Gurgatru, call this uh martial law. So it's gonna be just a chaotic time. You know what I'm saying? And that about it, you know, we'll be no more working. Now everything will cease. And that about in that time, you know, a lot of people are gonna be getting a uh, 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 constantly thrown in femicide. A lot of people are gonna be put to death. It's gonna be great persecution, great sorrow, great mourning. And that about it, we're coming upon that time. So the earth gonna be what? Just like a a a, a waste, a, a wasteland, and that about it, you know. It will be no inhabitant left here with those IBCM missiles flying out by the indignation of your house by Shimia So a lot of things is coming down the pipeline. And I'd about to say, you know, hey, it's time to watch, pray, and be sold because we are living in these times, real time. The end is being manifest right before our eyes. The kingdom of heaven. It is at hand. So now to start back up. Second Aries chapter 16 and verse 33. The virgin shall mourn, having no bridegroom. The women shall mourn, having no husband. Uh, their daughters shall mourn, having no helpers. And I about when that time of trouble come, when you go to Isaiah, what that when a man would be more uh precious than uh uh, uh than fine gold. And I about that time has come. So it won't be no men, you know, left, you know, on this earth. A lot of them will be put to death, and a lot of women's be in desperation. They would need help, you know, and guidance. And I about it, they would come back under that order. And I about it, they, they will see in that time, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people, a lot of women's gonna die in that time of trouble. And also a lot of men, the two thirds, you know what I'm saying? And I about it, the Lord is getting ready to do a, a mighty work. A great separation has come. It's coming upon us. And I about it, hey, Jacob Trouble finna 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 get everything into order. And I about we come to the warning, you left and right. We are here. It is at the door. So now let's start back up. One moment. Let's start back up. Uh, second era chapter 16, we'll start back up at verse 34. It said, In war shall their bridegroom be destroyed, and their husband shall perish of famine. And I about it, he said, A man shall desire to go in the city and won't be able to. And also, a man shall desire to see another man. And I about it, he said, You know, the, you know hey, man, it's, 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 the body count is getting ready to be great. Billions and millions of people are getting ready to die. And I about it, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I about it, hey, we're here. And I about it, hey, we come to warn you left and right. So let's go here. Second Aries chapter 16. And we'll start back up at verse 35. And it reads, Hear now these things and understand, then ye ye servants of the Lord. Verse uh, 36. Behold, the word of the Lord receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spoke. Verse uh, 37. Behold, the plague draw nigh and are not slack. Verse uh, 38. As, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of her birth pain come past her womb. Their pains when the child cometh forth, there are slack not a moment. Verse 39, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. So we in that, you know, so we in the beginning of sorrow. We, you know, this is the struggle in Rebecca's womb. It's getting ready to what? Uh, intensify, you know, the final what? Climax. And that about it, you know, Lord's get ready to usher in the kingdom of heaven that dwells in righteousness. And that about it, hey, we seeing all of the signs of the times here. And that about it, we are rejoicing because we are very close. Our salvation is very close than we yet believe. So now, let's start back up at verse uh, uh, second, uh, Ezra chapter 16. We'll start back up at verse 4. And it reads, O my people, hear my words. Make you ready uh, to the to thy Bible, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Let's read that again. Uh, uh, second Aries chapter 16 and verse 4. O my people, hear my words. Make you ready uh, to thy battle, and in thy evil be even as pilgrims uh, among the earth. So that everybody, you know, we're going to let the Lord guide us, you know. We're going to trust and believe in the Lord. We will be in the secret place of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh in those times of trouble. We will need the Lord. And that about here's the only way. Here's the only house. And that about when the economy uh, crash, when they take your money away from you and your way of life, and you know what I'm saying, and 